Alright, okay, let's look at this example which is involving logarithm with algebra, right? So, we uh, you have to simplify. If algebra, we simplify because they have no value, right? You don't know the value. So, just now, uh, uh, the previous lesson, we talked about how to simplify a logarithm and evaluate the value of the logarithm. So, let's look at this. Uh, this is more on uh, simplification by using the law of uh, logarithm. So as you see that every, if you, if you look at the first example here, you have seen that the base are the same, right? Uh, the base are the same. So usually if you want to simplify this involving plus and minus, we were using the formula for uh, logarithm which involving addition. For example, you have log x to the base a plus with log y to the base a, which the base are the same. So you can make it become a single logarithm which x multiply y. Uh, so for these cases, we are using these two formula. If you have divide, uh, if you have divide log base a, one plus this is minus. So we have to divide, right? Uh, so this formula is involved. So very simple. So when you study about logarithm, you must make sure what uh, what is data, what is the concept that tested here. So first you see the base are the same, right? So at first, you try to think about this formula, right? Uh, this formula. So now I, I perform for you and let you see. So you have uh, log p. This log p, log p. This is also log p. But before that, uh, before you, 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 you do addition or subtraction by using this formula, you must make sure that the log, the in front of the log got no number, right? Got no number. So the number you have to bring up become the power of uh, for example this tree can you see the tree here uh, precaution so you have to make it become power of three here so you bring this one three become x square to the power of three uh, this is a very important step so which you must make sure that there are no number in front there all right the sign is okay it's okay so now you have log p log p and log p. So you can convert it become a single logarithm. Uh, I put a big bracket, single logarithm. So now mind, just write here to be 5x divided by y, right? And plus, plus represent what? If you look at this, I'm going to apply the first plus. You can convert become multiply if they have the same basis. So now you have multiply with 2 over x to the power of 2, right? Uh, and you see minus, right? Uh, the base are the same, but this is minus. So you divide, you divide, see? You divide, x divide by y. So this is x2 and the power of 3 become, uh, sorry, become x to the power of 6, right? x power of 6. So now this is the correct, all right? Uh, the first approach must be correct. So apply the correct formula. So now you're going to simplify because it's already become single logarithm. So this is not, this is just algebra, right? This is the index law. So you can uh, 5x, all right? First, I need to rewrite this because I want to convert the divide become multiply. As you divide by x power of 6, but by uh, actually x power of 6 divided by 1, right? It will become, if you multiply, this will reverse, become x to the 1 over x to the power of 6. Uh, now you can start doing simplification. So now you have uh, 5, 2 is 10, right? 5, 2 is 10. And x and x power of 2, you have one more x, right? Uh, you have one more x. So on top, you only have number 5, 2, 10 divided by uh, x power of 1 and x power of 6 in by index is 6 plus 1 which gives you x to the power 7, right? And you have one more y. So now you have already simplified, become a single logarithm just by applying this formula, right? Okay, if you're not very understand, let's look at the second example here. Uh, it's the same, you have the same base, right? You have the same base. So this is the formula that you should consider, right? You should consider this formula. So. Uh, what is the precaution step here? You must make sure the number, right? There are no number in front of the two, one. You must make sure the number you bring forward to this 
uh, so it becomes log a square root of x y everything power of 2 right everything power of 2 and now go for this you have log base a the 5 become y to the power of 5 uh, now this one is okay so plus with log a x cube y all right now it's time for you to apply this rule log base a okay i put a big bracket become a single logarithm i'm going to combine everything because they already have the same basis right just addition and subtraction only so now square root and you square you get x y right ah remember minus minus means divide you know you divide uh, you can just write divide by y to the power of five right so plus means multiply right multiply multiply with x to the power of three y all right x power of three y so some student may prefer writing in this way all right uh, you see how i write some student may refer uh, this way sir whatever that um plus you put above uh, they write this way right so they write uh, square root square you get x y it's same as this x y so minus is divide right so they put on the denominator this one is easier right so multiply plus means on top right uh, multiply so x cube y this either this or this is work right uh, so now you you simplify become log base base a okay x x cube x power one and x cube same base one plus three you have x to the power four and you have y and y you have y to the power of two right y and y y power of two and below here you have y power of five right y power of five so which is y to the power of two y to the power of two uh, if you bring the five go up above it will be multiplied with y to the power of negative five right uh, negative five which gives you y to the power of two minus five you have negative three it's become one over y power three one over means that the one the y over three is on the denominator right uh, so this is how you simplify it's check x power four and this will be y power three okay this is your answer so from this you have simplified become a single logarithm so hope you understand